Yesterday morning when I went westward to check the trail camera memory chip and retrieve it so that I could see maybe if coyotes or bears showed up. I got into my Chevy Tahoe, drove across the river, breaking through the thin ice like I usually do in the winter time, drove a mile to the heifer gate, pressed on the brake, and the brake pressed back. The anti-lock brake system engaged prematurely because the vehicle was going so slowly that one or more of the wheels reported to the onboard computer, I'm stopped, but the other wheels aren't, therefore we must be skidding. I crashed through the Hevergate, smashed the Hevergate, took out one of the two gate posts, and maybe 25 feet of wire fencing before the Chevy Tahoe ABS system said, okay, I guess I'm going to let you stop now. A little late, but much appreciated. It seems when a ABS sensor is dirty or just gone bad, the computer on board says, okay, we're going very slowly on one or more of the wheels. One wheel is reporting it's not turning at all, even though it was. Therefore, the vehicle is in a skid. Therefore, I'm going to force the operator to not apply pressure on the brake pad so that the wheel that was reported as stopped will start spinning again and the vehicle will not be skidding. This is a safety feature. If the vehicle is going very slowly, such as at a red light or a stop sign with vehicles in front of you, or me, or it, and one of the wheels reports incorrectly that it is not moving while the others are, the brakes get disabled. The solution, of course, is to clean the fucking sensors or replace them. Or <clears throat> do what I did. Yank the motherfucker fuse out of the ABS system and be done with it. Who the fuck thought of saying, hey, you know, to be a little bit less safe, let's make an ABS system where randomly the brakes get disabled. Thank you, General Motors. Thank you, Chevrolet.